Hi there, this is uh, Shrikant Sari. So in this lesson, uh, we are going to uh, learn about uh, so how to grab a double value as input from keyboard uh, using the buffered uh, reader class. Okay. So already I have uh, launched NetBeans and I have created a project under the name uh, uh, buffered reader uh, double input here. Okay. So it's a quite a huge name <laughs> for a project. So it consists nothing but uh, buffered reader uh, input dot Java, just the dot Java file. And contains all the basic uh, uh, coding uh, uh, statements which were provided by NetBeans uh, by default here. Okay, so first and foremost, uh, so I need to add some things here. So first, I need to add, uh, I need to import uh, Java.io package. So import uh, Java.io.star. Okay, such that all the uh, IO related classes will be uh, loaded uh, and I can make use of them in my uh, program here okay so next uh, followed by uh, so first we need to create uh, before that uh, we need to uh, set this uh, throws exception throws IO exception statement here such that uh, the main uh, the main function will be capable of uh, uh, throwing exceptions uh, which which might occur in the program when we are relating when we are doing the IO related things so using the uh, buffer Twitter class here okay so first I am taking a double variable let's say double uh, DB okay so whatever you wanted and then I am creating a object for uh, buffered uh, reader class as we have done in the previous lesson buffer reader br is equal to new uh, buffer reader so new buffer reader of new input so huge syntax so input stream reader so input stream reader of uh, system dot in okay so input stream reader of uh, system dot in and then uh, what i'm going to say is i'm just putting a message here in the such that it appears in the output screen yeah, system dot out dot uh, print ln system dot uh, print ln and let me say uh, some message here enter some uh, double value or whatever you wanted you can say and then uh, beneath that uh, using the uh, floating uh, double variable uh, db is equal to so we need to uh, use the uh, read line method uh, okay so is equal to br uh, Sorry, before that we need to pass that uh, as we have done in the floating point uh, lesson. Double dot uh, pass double is the method. Uh, since uh, whatever the input you give in the uh, terminal window or in, or in the output screen, which uh, comes in the form of a, comes in the form of a string here. Okay, so we need to uh, pass that uh, double uh, into into double uh, variable or double type. Okay, so here we are doing a br dot uh, read line okay so using the again the system dot out dot uh, print i am just uh, outputting whatever the so uh, whatever the uh, input i am taking using the uh, uh, at double dot pass double and uh, with br dot read line as an argument here okay so in order to just output that let's put a message double value so double value db is equal to db okay so we're done with our uh, program so if you run this if everything goes well uh, you can run it with either uh, pressing f6 or uh, by pressing the green drawing here okay so asks us for uh, some double uh, input here i'm just giving a 3.153 something like that and just grabs the input and displays it uh, in the new line here okay so this is the basic step, uh, like uh, how to grab uh, a double input using the buffer reader class. Uh, to summarize once again, so here we have uh, first and foremost we have imported the uh, Java.io package, and then we have uh, uh, set our buffer reader, uh, created an object for our uh, buffer reader class, uh, and give this huge syntax. Okay, such that the stream reader and system dot in and all the arguments uh, respective syntax. And then we have taken the pass double method with br dot read line as an argument uh, in order to uh, convert uh, whatever the output or whatever the input we are giving from the keyboard from the string format to the into a double type here and then storing that value into the double variable here, okay 
So in the last, we are using the system.out.print in the statement, we are just outputting the uh, result here, result or uh, whatever the value we are uh, grabbing from the keyboard. Okay. So see you in the next lesson. Goodbye.